Well, yesterday we had forecasted the valley average high to be 98 degrees. And when you average out the high temperature in McAllen at 197 in Harlingen and Brownsville, that came up to 98 degrees. So the good news is it happened. The bad news is it's still hot outside and we're expecting these hot conditions to continue, uh, which is why the beach, South Padre Island, is definitely a great escape at the moment. The rest of this evening, just like right now, we're going to be expecting these nice, clear conditions out across the area. We're still looking at 96 degrees in Lyford, 97 in Edinburgh, still so looking at 100 in San Isidro in Rio Grande City. Now, it's not as humid out there in parts of the upper valley, but with the humidity that we do have, we still have those heat indices, those feels like temperatures anywhere from about 109 to Port Mansfield to 108 in McAllen. So stay hydrated with any Sunday evening plans. The good news is we're not expecting any rain and satellite is completely clear at the moment for all of us. So weather-wise, outside of hydration and keeping things warm, taken care from the heat, there's not too much we need to worry about. Well, we are looking at out the tropics generally speaking we're seeing a lot of quiet activity that's because we were actually already trying to track starting to track a lot of dust Saharan dust moving its way out into the middle of the Atlantic and towards the Caribbean now we're not expecting any dust to roll into the valley uh, here in the near future but this is fast forwarding to not Monday tomorrow but the next Monday starting to see a plume trying to make us through that may impact our air quality but with all that dust in the ocean that's why we're not seeing too many chances for any hurricane development nothing at least within the next two to seven days Back Back here at home with future cast, we're expecting clear skies over for much of the evening, then clouds building in in some areas tonight. Waking up tomorrow will be in the low, upper 70s, low 80s. But throughout the day tomorrow, some breezy conditions from the southeast. Plenty of sunshine, though, especially out towards the upper valley. An overall quiet day, but another very hot day with temperatures back up into the upper 90s, low 100s across the area. Now, that pattern is going to continue into Tuesday as well. The difference is the winds will be slightly faster uh, coming out of the southeast, about 10 10 to 15 miles an hour. So tonight, temperatures expected to fall down to the upper 70s, low 80s. Out at the beach tomorrow, we're expecting a low rip current risk, but extreme UV index. So make sure you put on plenty of sunscreen. Daytime high temperatures tomorrow near that 100 degree mark. Once again, a heat indices in the one teens. So make sure you stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, and then make sure you always have the Valley Storm Team weather up in case they do issue a heat advisory tomorrow. Not looking at that yet, but it could happen at any point this week because we're expecting those temperatures again to stay right around that 98. 99 for the valley average high, so hundreds in the upper valley. A little bit cooler into the lower valley, but it's relative at this point. We're using the word cooler. Relative. Yeah. Relative. I like how you put that, relative. That's all you can do at this point. <laughs> all right, Brian, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get a look at sports with Blake. What's going on, Blake?